Give me a mic check. Check, check, check. Testing, testing. 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 Testicle Tuesday. Testicle Tuesday. (laughs) (laughs) Sunday. Uh, (laughs) Saggy ball Sunday. (laughs) (laughs) Love a good saggy ball. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Sauce with Kenzie Taylor. Today, my guest is Kenna James. Hello. Hi, Kenna. Hi. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having me. I always love seeing your face, and it's kind of hard not to think about going down on you right now. I know. I was just sitting here thinking, it looks like a nice seat right there. <laughs> I know. Like, oh, that, that face. <laughs> I think I've rode it like a bike before. Ooh, and then some. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, let me just uh, get this out of the way. So Kenna has over 645 credits as a performer. She's 2016 Penthouse Pet of the Year, the winner of Best Leading Actress for Under the Veil for 2022 AVN Awards, also the winner of Girl Girl Performer of the Year for 2022 XBiz Awards, several other nominations, under your belt, ma'am. Uh, female performer of the year, best boy girl sex scene, best DP sex scene, best lesbian group sex scene, best three way sex scene, most outrageous sex scene. I would definitely have to say on your job resume, it works well with others is like the number one thing because everything on here is group, <laughs> <laughs> group, three way. <laughs> uh, I'd need to hear about this outrageous sex scene though that you were nominated for. Let's just dive right in. All right, let's just dive right yeah. into it. So um, it was a five way girl, 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 girl. Um, wow. For evil. It's a lot of puss. It was a lot of puss. That and sounds it, like heaven. <laughs> it kind of really was. <laughs> we had, we had um, uh, an amazing cast. We had Paige Owens, we had Emma Hicks, we had Gia Durza, we had Candace Dare, and myself. Phenomenal. <clears throat> All the ladies are great. And it was, uh, it's called Frisky Anal Nymphos, which I feel like they could have chosen a better title. Did you guys do anal? Oh, oh. I don't know. I, I <laughs> did get to fist Gia Durza's butthole. Oh, that's which awesome. Which was cool. Don't you love fisting someone? It's I like, do. It's like a weird little glove just kind of fits over. It yeah. Just... It, well, it's almost like, I'm wearing you like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> that's really what it felt like. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a whole like... um. Let me get past when I say this. It's a barnyard kind of thing, but not in the way you'd think. <laughs> you guys were animals? We were animals. Yeah? What animal were you? I was a kitty cat. Me and Emma Hicks oh. were kitty cats. Um, Gia Durza was a cow grazing in a field of dicks. <laughs> and then um, Candace Dare was our pig. <laughs> <laughs> did she make oink noises? She did. Yeah. She did. It was amazing. That and is cute. Paige <laughs> Owens was the, uh, the farmhand. And so she had to milk all of the animals so we could make enough money to keep the farm. I love that. <laughs> Did you guys have to lay out like one of those really big tarps for the no. mess you made? No. no, we were in Streams' house. Oh, okay. So, so he just took he the, <laughs> took the, the, the thing damage. With, yeah, the thing with Streams is he's like, eh, just do whatever. And then he just pours Dawn dish soap on his floor and scrubs it up and then goes on with his day. That's it. That's it right there. <laughs> but it was a lot of like milk and whipped cream enemas and shooting them out. And mm. It was a lot of fun. It was great. A lot of stuff flying out of asses. It was a lot yeah. of stuff flying out of asses. Yeah. Like we uh, we had a, oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> we were spinning Gia Durs it around and like the, the mess on the floor. Mm-hmm. Like a little spin the bottle. <laughs> and so we took a, a dildo and we, unic- we made her a unicorn stuck it to her head. That's amazing. And then we had to ride her, whoever it landed on. <laughs> our ass with the dildo While on it was her on her head? <laughs> Did she have to like hold it or did it actually stay? It stuck for a minute and then yeah. it started getting wet and yeah. we had to hold it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can honestly say I've never fucked a unicorn, but I would like to. Hey, Gia. It's uh, it's fun. Hey, Gia. (laughs) Well, it's kind of funny, though, the barnyard reference, because you're a country girl. Yes, ma'am. You told me so many stories, but I love hearing about your stripping in a barn. (laughs) Please (laughs) indulge the audience in your awesome stripping in barns. So uh, when I was 18, 19, I used to strip in this uh, this club and uh, (laughs) back way, it's like on the Arkansas border. Mm -hmm. Um, In the middle of like the Mark Twain National Forest, so nowhere. It was a gravel road leading to the club. Probably made bank though, because it was in the middle of nowhere. Nope. No? Oh, damn. No. No, unfortunately, you don't make bank in the middle of nowhere when it's like Hicks. I did, though, actually, in really? Amarillo, Texas. 
in really? middle That's of nowhere. Surprising. Yeah, I it was an amazing that. club. Yeah. Huh. Amen to that. Military area, though. Oh, so maybe that that's helps. why. That yeah. helps. This is definitely not a military area. <laughs> <laughs> this is people come in, they're missing the front two teeth, usually. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Billy Joe? Yep. Billy Bob. Billy Bob, what's up? <laughs> so, um, I don't know, man. It was just a pole barn, just an empty red pole barn with a gravel lot. And, uh, they made it into a strip club. <laughs> it is now permanently closed. Um, it is now no I wonder room. why. Why? Did COVID close it down or was it just Probably. like, eh, no one wants to come here anymore. Fuck it. A little <laughs> column A, a little column B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when was the last time that you were there? Like while it was still obviously open and uh, running it's probably been four or five years at least like, yeah. i haven't been in a long time yeah the other club is still operational where i danced there there were two of them nice and you'd go from that one to the other one because they had the uh after hours <laughs> like call of the wild kind of place <laughs> did a tractor drive you to the other one when you <laughs> <laughs> like, like some dude pulls up on a john deere hey get in i'm taking you to the next bar that would have been amazing I right because then you could have just stayed drunk you didn't have to worry about getting i there. think as two future dancers i feel like that is our duty to our country folk that we have to do yes. is get a tractor to drive us amen <laughs> or drive the dancers to different areas to make money that'd be you know? brilliant and you could yeah. like have people pay to ride with us exactly put hay bales back there i mean exactly make so much money huge with us, wagon idea. yeah that, that'd be great <laughs> i i would love it i would totally do that <laughs> <laughs> well as you know i'm from the middle of nowhere in michigan but i never got a chance to strip in a barn so no? i'm kind of jealous you should find a barn and go stripping it. <laughs> I'm like going to build a barn and put a stripper pole and everybody's like, what the hell? <laughs> Do you ever watch that show Pea Valley? I've never seen it. I've heard of it. Oh, it's good. Uh, it just made me think of it, though. On the show, they have basically the strip club in the show is like a barn. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. In the middle of, uh, I think, Mississippi is where it is. But yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So you have been in the industry for eight years as of this year. Yes, ma'am. October yeah. will be eight. That's awesome. You have one year on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, yeah. God damn you. I don't know why I always felt like you were in longer than me. No, no. I had uh, I got seven years in March. So, yeah. yeah. Congrats to your seven years. Well, congrats to your eight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Because um, I know you really enjoy and love acting as I do. do I. And we've, we've talked about this. But mm -hmm. what do you think has been your most difficult project but something that you've really loved i guess like difficult as in challenging um as far as a role i'll say i don't know as of um all my latest stuff probably dark as the night mm. was one of those that you had to fall into a very specific type of character mm -hmm. um but by far has been my most fun project yeah to it, it looked phenomenal Oh my god! In the photos too, I was like, "Who is this <laughs> fucking beauty model over here?" Like, I love like, you know, it is called Dark as the Night, but like, I love how artistic the photos are. Like, oh James god, is beautiful. incredible. He, like, is he really is one of my favorite people. James to be Avalon about. is one of the greatest ever, but he is what, in my opinion, I think he's probably the best photographer. Like, on yeah, and the like the top like two, I think he's one of them. For he's sure. definitely he's really in my good. top my top three right really there. Good. Like he's amazing. There's another photographer too, but I haven't gotten the pleasure of getting my photos by him. But I I think you have his name's Darren. Oh my yeah. god, God, he's fantastic. He's I follow amazing. his Instagram. I'm like shoot me it's his pictures take photos of me <laughs> every single time come out just incredible yeah. I look at him I'm like I can't believe that's me yeah <laughs> you're like wow I'm good you're like oh wow yeah I mean, okay I see it now I'll clean up well <laughs> <laughs> I would do me I'd do me <laughs> you know <laughs> so also I have uh heard because I've done quite a bit of research on you I've basically <gasps> stalked you um Kenzie <laughs> Taylor's stalking you're right. me <laughs> You're like really into romantic comedy films. Like two of your favorites you've said are 10 Things I Hate About You and 13 Going on 30. Oh, yeah. So in mainstream films, you know, since you love romantic comedies, would you say that acting wise yourself, you would love to do more romantic comedies? It would be fun. You know, I actually got to do a little rom-com we did um, like four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. Jackie St. James did it. It was called Love in the Digital Age. 
Mm, and they I remember that title did it just as a rom-com and it was amazing even the trailer they've got that campy like little music uh-huh. and the slideshows showing everybody and I was like oh this is amazing yeah <laughs> that would be a lot more fun to do yeah some more of those but I I love stuff like that it's more light but then I also love like the really challenging dark roles oh yeah you know exactly I, I don't know about you but like me personally I love a good challenge I'm oh. like oh this character's fucked up I'm Those in bad. I'm in I'm in <laughs> let me see if I can get to her level <laughs> <laughs> like when I played Charlie for deranged um for wicked I literally had to do method acting and I had to go to such like dark places in my mind yeah but it conveyed you know the character so well I was able to really show like what exactly I thought she was thinking and would be like doing and how she'd be reacting in the in the moments of time oh yeah and might I say you absolutely killed it like nailed it thank you thank you very much (laughs) I think uh me and you are gonna be against each other for best actress so let me just say I hope you win I you know what to be next to you as a nominee though is a pleasure (laughs) You know what? I hope you win as well. <laughs> Just being Thank nominated you. alongside you. <laughs> Avian, you better sit us by each other, okay? At come the on, award guys. show. Like, come on. Come on, guys. We want to sit by each other. <laughs> Seth, Seth can just be there. Like, Kenna's going to be my date. Yeah. Mackenzie's yeah. my date. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to move Seth out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to wear an uh, awesome custom tuxedo. So oh. we could coordinate and I could, like, match my bow tie to your dress. Ooh, just that'd saying. Be amazing. Just saying. Just be like the hottest thruple on the carpet basically <laughs> i said that to seth i was like hey um so i think i'm gonna do a custom tuxedo how do you feel about that he's like maybe we can like match <laughs> i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> and then i start like saying colors and stuff he's like no 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 because no, i no. thought i was like maybe like a cool baby blue no i was like what about like some something with like sparkly like gold no (laughs) I'm like fine I'll do my own thing (laughs) we won't match at all he does the black you do the gold could look amazing (laughs) right so what have you been focusing on lately in your film career have you been focusing on anything in particular are you kind of just going with the flow I'm very much a go with the flow kind of person generally yeah um So that's just pretty much what I do, you know. (laughs) I go, I work for companies that want to work with me, and uh, that's it. And I've got a lot of feature dancing coming up, and that's what I've been focusing on a lot as of lately. I don't know about you, but, like, feature dancing, I love it, but it has made me feel, like, so much older than I am. (laughs) Yes. I get back, and I'm like, I need, like, four days to recover. (laughs) So I'm doing every weekend in September, I'm gone. Yeah. Oh, that's nuts. I did that. So pre-COVID, there was a good, I think it was like five or six months every weekend I was in a different city. And I was used to it, but like now, you know, it's like so sporadic and I'm like, okay, like this weekend I'm going somewhere, next weekend I am, and then I don't have anything for a while, but you know, it's mm-hmm. it's not easy feature dancing. People are like, oh, you just go up there and strip. It's like, no, no. you're up there for 10 to 15 minutes. You are and, fully and engaged. Yes, people are there to see you. Like you're on their advertisements or their radio advertisements or billboards or that's a you know, lot of flyers. pressure exactly that's, that's a lot of pressure because like they build you up yeah for like social media a couple weeks like, to come and yeah. then they're like okay you get there and all of a sudden you hear your credits start going and you're like oh god oh god, oh god. i know <laughs> i know it's weird it's like dude i started stripping when i was like 16 and it, like it wasn't a big deal or anything yeah and then like future dancing i'm like I gotta go. I'm I'm, I'm up in ten. I'm up in ten. All right. Okay. 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 I'm glad I it's got not this. Just me. <laughs> yeah. No. It's it's ridiculous. I'm like, dude. It's my so gaping asshole is on Google. <laughs> Why do I care that I'm gonna do a 15 minute strip club performance? Like, like I'm never gonna see you again. Why yeah. do I care so yeah. much what you think right now about my performance? <laughs> I think it's because how much they hype us up like yeah. i've had people have you ever seen rubber doll perform i have she's a phenomenal. fucking phenomenal like nothing like it no nothing but i've had to feature at clubs a weekend after her oh, and, and people will be like whoa kenzie taylor's here it's gonna get crazy and i was like 
Uh, 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 <laughs> I'll deep throat a dildo on stage. I, just, I yeah. don't know. I'll pull your wife up here and rat her face. I don't know. That's yeah, all that's, I got. I'm not razor or s- chainsawing my. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I, I've been up after so many like feature performers, <laughs> like uh, Angel Bo, who is nuts. I don't know if you've ever seen her shows, mm-hmm. but she literally like she will staple money to herself. She takes like, oh wow a grinder and like an angle grinder and uses it while she's on stage. Oh. Like she has these little needles with feathers on them and you can like poke them through her skin. She's nuts. She Whoa. walks on machetes. She's insane. Um, walks on machetes? Girl, it's crazy. Ooh. I watched her featured out at Expose in San That's Diego. That's insane. Fucking insane. Yeah. But I've been like up after weekends of people like her and like yeah. Lacey Rain and these, yeah. these showgirls that put on an actual show and yeah. I'm like and have these like elegant fucking expensive thousands upon thousands of dollars mm-hmm. costumes and, and I'm like here's my hey. lingerie set yeah I'm like hey guys <laughs> do you like my lingerie from Sheen it was nine ninety nine hey guys check out my Halloween costume from Spirit it was only twenty two ninety nine on the clearance rack do uh-huh. you love it yep. is it sexy are you hard? Do you want me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically. That's basically me like all the time. I'm like, do you want me? Do you want me? Am I, am I pretty enough? <laughs> am I attractive to you? <laughs> my trick, though, when I'm feature dancing is like, you know, the people are there. Like, I'm just focusing on the people. That's I don't even sick. really like, yes, I love, you know, dancing and being on the pole and stuff. But like. I really am more along the lines of like engaging with the people. Exactly. And like I'll take like a double lined dildo and like deep throat it and get spit everywhere and slap <laughs> fucking dudes in the face with it and it's hilarious. And they all love it. Like Dude. they love it. So my favorite thing to do is to take guys and bring them up on stage and they're always unsuspecting. They're like, Oh yeah. me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. They come up, they lay down and you know, I'll lay them flat. And then I'll put my puss right in their face and I'm just like crawling down. I'll put my face by their dick and I'll run my hands up their body and while I do it I'll bring their shirt up with it yeah expose their belly mm-hmm. and then i pink belly this motherfucker so hard <laughs> <laughs> i leave pink, like hand i've left solid welts and yeah. handprints on people yeah and they love it they thank me for yeah. it yeah yeah and i'm oh, like man i, I figured that i get so much trouble for this my shit. wife like, never beats me i love it when you do <laughs> 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 i have one fan he calls it he calls it kenna's mark because i left a legit welt just on his stomach <laughs> can you imagine if someone like went to the tattoo parlor like Hey, uh, this welt, yeah, I want Tattoo. it uh, tattooed. Yeah. <laughs> the exact handprint, exactly where it is, yeah. I'd be mm-hmm. like, you'd have to also get my signature, though. So <laughs> yeah, like, right? I'm going to have to sign you, and you're... then you're going to have to copy that, too, because I need it marked. <laughs> That's one thing I will say. I, don't, I haven't seen any tattoos of me yet, and I think that would be so cool. That'd be so cool. I've right? seen one that kind of looked like me, but it yeah. wasn't intentionally me. Yeah, but I've f- seen a lot of... Um, uh, Christy Mack. I've seen a lot of I've her. I've seen a ton of Christy Mack. Like, oh, that's so good. It's uh, amazing. I want that fan base. But watch, someone will get one of you or I, and it ends up looking like fucking not like, us. Mm. It's yeah. one of the worst pictures we've ever done. <laughs> it looks done. like Popeye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They pull the fucking photos from like we when we first started. It's like my very first ATK photo set. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know about you, but. I only I only retweet photos or like movies and stuff if it's good. Yes. Like if I like it. If I like it, yeah. I've had some photo sets come up where I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh, like, fuck. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that was not a good day. Uh, I'm like, oh. Uh. And also, like, I will say a lot of it though is like the makeup artist situation. Oh, definitely. Like, I think all of our info, and this is one thing I love that my husband does when he directs. He puts who the makeup artist is in the info. It's so crucial. No one ever tells us who we're getting, but it's I like know. there are certain ones I don't want working Same. on my face. Yeah, I'll get to sent. I'm like, fuck, I wish I would have done my own makeup. Yeah, fuck. I usually bring my own makeup for that reason just yeah. because I'm like, if you're not staying, especially if you're not staying, I'm yeah. going to go wipe half your shit off and I'm just going to go Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the worst though because like they're getting paid and you're like miserable while you're in their chair. Just yeah. like. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Are you, you doing good? You're doing great? Yeah, you're going to take two hours to do my face and it's going to look like dog shit. And it's going to look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go in the bathroom for 35 minutes and they're going to be like, are you ready yet? Hello? I, I'm fixing. Yeah. Give me a minute. <laughs> um, I'm actually putting lashes on because I don't know what these are. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's happening right here. This isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second, okay? Or when the makeup just like sits on top of your face and just doesn't. Ugh. you're like i look 60 now awesome yeah the worst is like i don't think mine's doing it right now because i did it myself but 
when some artists like under your eyes it like cakes up cakes and creases and <laughs> yeah. it's just like <laughs> i'm like i've never felt so ugly <laughs> i look like batman with the like, fucking black eyes <laughs> What the hell? Like, what happened? <laughs> Why do you... This is me to make bars. Why do you hate me? Why like, don't you like what me? Did, what did I do to you? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? <laughs> That's what I've been trying to figure out. Except talk shit about your makeup. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, God. It's it's bad. It's really bad. There's only... I will say, there's only a few, though, that are kind of, like, lingering around that are bad. Yeah, there's not that many anymore. I Thank feel like we God. weeded a lot of them out. <laughs> <laughs> like, um... I look like a pumpkin. Uh, well, yeah. It's like, I didn't know I was going for Willy, Willy Wonka's Oompa Loompas today. Oompa Loompa. Anyway, enough shit talking about uh, bad makeup. Uh, <laughs> so, let's see. Mm, what doors has the industry opened for you? All of them. Every door that's open in my life right now, I feel like the industry is open for me. Yeah, that's um, phenomenal. What's what's the best door that's opened where you're like, I fucking love this. Just having the freedom to kind of do whatever I want. Yeah, like that's be your own boss. I, you know, they always lie to me. They said when you become your own boss, you can work less. You don't have to yeah, work as yeah. hard. You get to choose your own hours. Yeah. That was the biggest lie I think I've ever been told in my life. A thousand life. percent. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would still choose this over working for anybody else, but still yeah. the biggest lie I've ever heard. A thousand percent. <laughs> You're like, um, no, actually, I am working my ass off. I'm hardly sleeping. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's like I don't Jack ass what's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm tired. I'm We're always tired. I know. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. The possibility of mainstream, um, as well. I feel like is a door that's opening wider and wider. Um, and that's one I'd like to pursue more. Have you uh, done mainstream stuff? Um, very little. I, I've, I've dipped my toe in, but I definitely, I want to go get SAG. I, I'd like to find an agent like, yeah. and actually try it. What did you get to do? Were, um, were you looking extra on something or did they give you like I actually, speaking? I actually had speaking part. Um, oh, awesome. It's maybe like five minutes, um, if, if that. It's alongside uh, Dolph Lundgren. I don't know if you know who. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's so many people who don't know who he is nowadays. I mean, it's mostly the. How do you kids. not know? I don't know, man. It's like <laughs> all the babies. I'm like, you know what that is? They're like, no. I'm oh like, yeah, I forget. Yeah, the I what? Know. It, the we're not millennials, right? Because we're 90 babies. It's the newer. I think youngers. we're technically still on the like cusp of okay. millennial. I I don't really know. There's it depends on what yeah. site you look at and who you're talking to. Yeah, because there's a there's a lot of people. I'm like. God, I feel old. Oh, like I, I talked so about Backstreet Boys the other day, and somebody was like, "What? Who? Who is the Backstreet Boys?" I'm like, "They're uh, everything." They're, they're, they're sit like, down. Sit <laughs> down. You're about to learn. <laughs> I'm like, back in 1999, you have no idea, okay? Back in my day. Yeah. The pleather pants and the black Backstreet's Back All Right shirt. You're welcome. Oh, my God. God, my <laughs> school photos were hideous. Dude, do you ever just go back and, like, look at the dance pictures and all oh. the... <laughs> I had a 14-year-old call me out on my fucking yearbook. What? We're looking at my yearbook not long ago, and they look, I was like, so this is what it feels like. She's looking at old, like, prom pictures and like homecomings and she goes ew whoever thought like zebra print dresses were a good <gasps> idea and i'm like oh they were the shit they were everything yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody had zebra print <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what's good for you. Sit down. Zebra print and neon colors. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my God. I remember one time I was like arguing with my mom when I was like 15. It was like my first homecoming. I'm like, I want a lime green dress. She's like, I'm not getting you a fucking lime green dress. You look like an idiot. <laughs> and then I'm like, I want a lime green dress, mom. No, you can have a lime green flower. I'm like, Okay. Okay. <laughs> and so she got me like one of those like green, yeah, yeah, yeah. That your date's supposed to get you, but I didn't have a fucking date. So, so my, my mom, mom got it. My mom corsaged me. <laughs> She's like, hey, here you go. I wore a lime green dress to my freshman prom. Really? <laughs> I, I love it. You gotta text me a photo of it. <laughs> I definitely amazing. will. It's amazing. Uh what did it look like? Was it strapless? It was or? strapless. Yeah. Yeah. It was lime green. Yeah had a little like it wasn't a slit but it was like the the outer part of the skirt that yeah 
like the makeshift slit. It like opened, but it had like that floofy. Type. Yeah, yeah. It was, love it. <laughs> Gosh. Mom, I'm gonna buy myself a lime green dress now. <laughs> You're like, God <laughs> damn it. Ken has convinced me I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna call her later tonight. I'm getting a lime green dress. She's gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? She's like, what are you on? <laughs> Remember when I was 15? <laughs> you crushed my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so what is uh what's one of your favorite places you've ever been like in the world Ooh, i actually just got back from spain and right now it's the only thing i can think of um I was yeah 30 minutes outside of barcelona at a place called sieges mm-hmm. holy shit it was amazing yeah i stayed in like the six person villa i got flown out for uh brazzers and so i got to stay in like a six person villa we were literally like i'd open my windows in the morning and it was just, I see the ocean. It's the street, then the beach. And so it just hung out on the beach mostly. I actually got to go and explore the city, which you don't really get Love to do that. on work trips. Yeah, right. So Ugh. you'd only work like half a day and mm-hmm. then you're off doing everything. And we went out to just like one, a couple of the bars, ended up at a bar called Las Vegas in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time. <laughs> I don't know, that, that in um, Sydney, Australia was really great. Enjoyed it there. Yeah, I actually went to, um, uh, what was it, uh, Melbourne, Australia for oh. filming. And I, it was it was a thing, though, I didn't get to explore. And oh. w- the, the place that the company had me staying was like this Airbnb house thing that we were mm-hmm. shooting at. And it was like way far away from the city in the middle of nowhere. It was that. terrible. I hate that. They did yeah. that to me in Ibiza. I yeah. flew to Ibiza. Sucked. And they literally, like, it, the, the villa was gorgeous. Yeah. You know, yeah. but it was f- 10 miles from anything else. And I'm yeah. like, well, this kind of sucks. I was only yeah. there for a couple of days. Yeah. Don't get to explore. Yeah. And also, too, when, when people see, like, oh, you're an American tourist. I don't care if anyone foreign watches this and gets offended, but it's true. If they see you're an American tourist, you get taken advantage of and they want to rip you off. A hundred Because I just went to Mexico for my birthday and if it weren't for uh, Kylie Rock, I went with me Mm -hmm. and she's, you know, speaks fluent Spanish. Right. Luckily, she was there because they were trying to rip me off and she's like, oh, no, 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 (laughs) no. And then she started like speaking Spanish and I was like, ah. Uh But something I did learn that I love to say. El profesional el sexo. Oh. Yeah. I think I can figure that one out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, though. We swam with dolphins, like, on my birthday. Ooh. And the photographer that took the photos found out, like, what we do or who we are or whatever. Oh, yeah. And he had this little tiny notebook. And he was like, I'll give you 50% off the total for the photo packages <laughs> if you guys sign your autographs. And we were like. Okay. okay, so we signed his little book. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy nuts. You half yeah. off for an autograph. Yeah, I, I was signed like, for less. Yeah, I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> and it was funny too, because like when we were leaving, he was like telling us that he was addicted to porn, and <laughs> we're, we're like, cool, us too. That's why we do it. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we can help you. <laughs> like, Glad we can feed that addiction, bro. Seriously, there are worse things to be addicted to. I mean, it could be crack. This is true. So I would much rather be addicted to porn than crack. Same. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a rough rough out there. It's rough out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you were in uh, Spain, was there a lot of homeless people or no? No, I really didn't see any homeless people. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like I go other places and I don't really see any of that. And then I get back to LA and it's like, boom, boom, central. Boom! <laughs> boom! Uh, the booming noises I'm making—that's the homeless that, that's people. the homeless people. Yeah, they're taking up the city everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Trash hanging from the like. I think even San Francisco <laughs> has less homeless people than LA now. <laughs> they probably all came from. <laughs> they San probably did. <laughs> they were like, "Here, take, take this bus <laughs> ticket and go to LA." Yeah, because I went to like San Francisco, and I haven't been there in like four years at least, like yeah. pre-pandemic. Um, and I went for Crazy Horse. And where I would stay last time, it's the same place I always stay. And it was just surrounded by homeless people. I mean, there was just shit everywhere, piss everywhere, you know, and it's San Francisco. And last time I went, sorry for anybody who is from San Francisco and loves it. I do not yeah. like it. It's not my favorite city. It's, a, it's, all, it's all good. <laughs> I, uh, I noticed they'd cleaned it up a shit ton, though. Like, there yeah. were hardly any homeless, like, it, until you went to, like, the downtown yeah, area. Yeah. Like, whatever. Until you went but, to, like, their Skid Row area. Yeah, you yeah. know, which every city, I feel like, has that area. But Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, it definitely down. seemed cleaner, which shocked me. <laughs> You're like, whoa. Still don't like it here, though. Still don't like it, but like, <laughs> it's not as bad as it was. I'm just not a city person. <laughs> I know, right? It's it's weird. It's like I, I've kind of gotten used to like you know being a city girl, but I'm still at heart a little country girl. Oh yeah, no, give me backwoods any day. <laughs> <laughs> like I love the quiet. That's one thing I will say. Like when I go visit, like my parents, they still live like in the same area in the middle of nowhere, mm-hmm. and it's so peaceful. It's so nice. You step outside, and it's just like. And it smells good. Like it's there's clean. no, yeah, it's fresh. Exactly. It's to smell the world. Exactly. <laughs> Not the smog. Yeah. Here it's <laughs> like you, you're on the airplane. You're about to land in LA, and it's like clear, clear, gray. gray. <laughs> you're like, oh man, it's bad outside. And then it's sunny, and you're like, oh, never mind. It's That's not- the pollution. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't breathe. <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so what's something that you haven't gotten to do that you feel you really would like to do um professionally and just personally as well mm. i don't know i've been asked this question a lot and i'm like i don't i don't know what's left anymore um <laughs> 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 um hmm. you know what i want I'll say mine while you brainstorm. Yeah, let me brainstorm. I want a reverse gangbang of chicks. I want to have like eight chicks come to me and it's just like, ah, I'm here. What's up, ladies? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You'll obviously be one of them. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. (laughs) I'm like, hey, (laughs) come to daddy. Yes, daddy. (laughs) (laughs) Like that sounds like heaven to me. I don't know. I guess I guess I kind of want to try. I've never done a gangbang. Hmm. Yeah, me either. I think it would be fun. Uh, have you done get... DP? I have done a DP. I've done a couple of them. I've never done that yet either. Ooh. How is it? I heard it's phenomenal. They can be amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had, I've done three of them now. One for my own site, one for Hard X, and then one for Tushy. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to say my Tushy one was probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. It was Mick Blue and Oliver Flynn. Mm. And Mick's just great. I mean, they're both amazing performers, but Mick has been in for so long and he's he's just so fucking good. He's got like, it. He knows. He literally knows like and he does he, those scenes all the time. Like actually Seth it's uh one of his favorite people to work with when he does DP this Mick yeah. because they just work so well with one another and it's like in sync of yeah. like it's like we're going to do this. We're going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. It's beautiful. Like but yeah, that one's probably my favorite. And then the other two were both Mick and Ramon. Mm. So Mick's been a part of all my DVs. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mick Blue. Shout out to Mick Blue. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Love you in my ass or my vagina. Which, Love you in all my yeah. holes. <laughs> touche. Touche. <laughs> so what, um, what do you consider yourself? Do you consider yourself bisexual? 100%. Yeah. Yep. Always, uh, all it. my first experiences were with girls. Yeah, um, I, I know. I, I'm just saying this from experience. She loves pussy and she eats good pussy. Mm-hmm. 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 My my voice, it's like <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> 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 but but uh oh okay cool so yeah you've always liked girls I always like girls yeah. always, I don't even think I, I didn't have sex with the guy till I was like. 17 same so mm-hmm. everything else was girls up until then i was like I, I think i'm a lesbian it's like nope i told my mom <laughs> that actually when i was younger because same thing like i didn't have sex with a guy until i was 17 but it, i had already done sexual things with girls starting at like i don't even know i think like maybe 12 was mm-hmm. the first time i like really like kissed a girl and nine. had crushes on girls and all that you know yeah and i told my mom I'm like mom i i think i might be gay no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> I was like, I think I'm gay. No, you're not. I was like, well, I really like girls, but I like boys too. <laughs> yeah, it's just a phase. It'll pass. <laughs> and now I'm like, mom, I'm pansexual. Yeah, I know. You're greedy. You like it all. <laughs> you want everything <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> I'm like, exactly. <laughs> it was so funny. My mom, I remember when I, when I told her, 
Uh huh. We were in the car with one of my dad's friends, and he was driving us to the gas station to get sodas. (laughs) 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 My mom's just going on, and she's like, "Yeah, I just don't understand how two women can do this." Da 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 da. I can't even remember how we were on this conversation. She's just like going off, and finally, I've had enough of the back seat. I look at her. I think I'm like 14. I look at her, and I'm like, "Mom, I like girls. You got a problem with it?" And she turns, and she deadpans, she's just like. Uh, uh, wasn't I mean, expecting it Bible <laughs> Belt Middle America like my dad's friend's losing it he's <laughs> cracking the fuck up at the driver's wheel doesn't know how to deal with the situation <laughs> at all nor does my mom <laughs> and she's just like uh, well, uh, I, don't, I, I, don't see, I don't see anything wrong with it I, I, just, I, just, I just I'm like yeah, yeah uh huh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it, it, that's literally how it is Um, like the town that I'm from like it's a little different now but for the most part like growing up like they're extremely like homophobic racist yeah, stuff like that and it it was it was difficult you know um but now i feel like it's getting a little better it's evolving but yeah. that was definitely something i never had an issue with with my parents of like they they've never been like homophobic they've never oh, been like so nice. racist anything like that thank god that's really nice yeah, yeah. i got grounded for kissing a girl at a uh, at a slumber party I got kicked out of the slumber party and then I got grounded and then I immediately got ungrounded. But we told my, my dad told me we can't tell my mom what happened. So I was like, okay. One of the funniest, the, <laughs> one of the funniest stories. So my mom grounded me and there's this thing. Uh, I don't even know if they still have it, but it's, it's at this church by where I grew up and it would, it was called vacation Bible school. I've heard of those. And yeah. And it would, it's like a day camp, but also they do these like lock in things where you sleep mm-hmm. at church at night and you, wake up every three hours and pray and do bible studies and whatever but really none of the kids did they just all played and whatever yeah of course so my mom's like you're going to vacation bible school you're grounded i was like "Ah," freaking (laughs) out right i go there and this boy that i've always liked is there and it's it's dark it's a lock-in so the first <laughs> the first time I was ever fingered was underneath the church <laughs> pew. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, I love being grounded. I'm like, this is the best I thing just... ever. Mom, will you ground me more? <laughs> I was like, mom, I want to go to vacation Bible school every day. <laughs> I, I love it. You used to help my friend get laid in church. <laughs> yeah, really? <right? laughs> it's crazy. But I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I think because that happening, I've always had this like, fantasy of like wanting to do something actually sexual not like just finger banging uh (laughs) and in like a church setting so i've always wanted to do like a church type of like scene but you did that for under the veil correct i've done two of them now i've done i did uh confessions of a sinful nun two uh years ago and then uh yeah under the veil were you guys actually in a church or was it a just a set that was built honestly it may have at one point i think it used to be a church because it very much looked like a church it had all the stained glass already like it was set up kind of like one yeah obviously no longer a church um, yeah yeah. down on skid row yeah um which was its own challenges on shooting but oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) loud (laughs) super loud oh yeah they just hooked up uh car battery uh, car batteries um hooked up boom boxes and just screaming and all day and just we had to dub through so much of the sex <laughs> <laughs> that's one yeah, there's that one studio that's downtown um and there's the the homeless people that live all the way in front of it like all mm-hmm. down but then also if you go there really early in the morning you know because we get early call times as chicks right so my call time was like 7 30 in the morning mm-hmm. so i pull in and there's like straight up street hookers like oh yeah working dude like since 7 30 in the morning they are working early bird gets the worm yeah i was say. like wow <laughs> respect respect <laughs> indeed hustling <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was, i don't know it was, it was crazy um I just I I fucking adore you dude like I fucking love you like anytime anyone ever asks "Uh, how's Kana I've never met her before I love her (laughs) I I fucking love you you are one of my favorite people that I've met in this industry thank you you are a gem also oh you taste good oh my Loki so do you it's so (laughs) sweet (laughs) (laughs) So if you could give any advice 
to um, like a newer girl getting in, what would you say to her? Do everything at your own pace. Don't feel pressured to do anything you don't want to do by absolutely anyone. They're still going to love you no matter if you don't do anal, if you don't do guys, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone pressure you. And stay you. Stay humble. A thousand percent agree. Don't think you're a big shot when you just got him. Exactly. (laughs) Touche. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to come here. If you could um, promo anything you have, you know, coming out that you want to talk about um, and let everyone know your OnlyFans, uh, social media tags, all of that. Fuck you yeah. can look at the camera and talk to them. Hello, camera. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so I really don't have anything other than like if you're going to be in anywhere in feature dancing, such as Maine, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania come out see me at the clubs um my only fans is kenna james x awesome content there uh instagram is at real kenna james twitter's kenna james 21 and if you need any other images or anything else just go to google i'm all over that place too mm-hmm. kenna james it's true <laughs> i googled you oh i that's might hot. i might have seen quite a few photos where i was like oh I gotta go relieve myself. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I fucking love you. Thank you so much. You you guys, uh, go subscribe to Kenna's OnlyFans and follow her on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.